down to the valley. AP standing by. Let's check in. Well, you guys probably know by now that I like to do my history or my research on the history before these Storm Lab local segments. And I looked and I looked and I looked this morning, but I could not find out for certain how Fort Valley did get its name. Now, there's a few conspiracy stories on out there, but I am sure that there are more interesting stories behind the truth of how it actually got its name. But I did find out one thing for certain. Fort Valley is in, not fa is in fact not named after any sort of military fort. But the town today plays host to many other things other than peaches, like I just talked about for the past half hour. One of those things is the Bluebird, Bluebird Corporation, one of the nation's largest school bus manufacturers. Bluebird has its corporate headquarters here and manufacturing plant here in Fort Valley for over 85 years. It also is home to Fort Valley State, a fast growing public university that is in the Division II of the NCAA. And its campus is located just minutes away from where I currently am in downtown Fort Valley. Valley. So that will wrap up this week's Storm Lab Local, but be sure to stay tuned because there's plenty of towns all across Central Georgia that I have yet to venture on out to. Stay tuned next week to see if I head to your town. Live in Fort Valley, meteorologist Alex Pry, 13 WMAZ News.